Brian, thank you. Right now, one in five crashes in Texas, in Texas are caused by distracted drivers. Now, a new statute is aiming to ban texting while driving statewide in hopes of reducing these numbers. Amarillo already has a local ordinance enforcing this rule. Adria Ayrahita has more details on what the statute means as well as how it's already having an impact locally. Texting and driving in Amarillo is against the law, but isn't the case statewide. This is what a new statute could implement if it passes. Our elect Greg Abbott has indicated that he's not a big fan of, of legislation that imposes restrictions on, on individual drivers. Uh, I don't think that the governor has come out and said he would veto this legislation. State Representative John Smithy is in favor of the ban. However, he thinks it could run into problems down the line. The ban enjoys broad uh, support among the voters, among the citizens, and it also enjoys broad support uh, among the legislators as well. In previous sessions, there have been similar proposals admitted to legislature, but none of them have made it into law. The only law in place right now is a distracted driving law. The distracted driving law right now is very vague and may not necessarily mean you'd get a ticket for using your phone. But if the statute does pass, doing this would be against the law. The city of Amarillo has already begun to enforce a local ordinance banning texting while driving. It would be interesting to see if the police department has really taken this ordinance seriously because they were for it. The police department, when they came to us, they were for a texting and cell phone ban. A recent $200,000 grant has allowed more officers to focus on these types of citations. So far in the month of October, there have been 33 citations and 28 warnings given.